Is Jacqueline Hill a liar? Or is she just a money hungry robot? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be talking about a certain person in the makeup community. Now, I never call the makeup community beauty community because they're all fake. They're all backstabbers. All they care about is themselves and money literally nothing beautiful about these people if you follow the makeup community on YouTube. Today we are going to be talking about Jacqueline Hill. In one of her videos she talks about how she is closing her brands. There's a lot of drama behind her businesses. She has stolen designs. She has copied designs stole someone's name, someone's business name, yet she does not care. So a lot of people are really, really sick and tired of Jacqueline because she only makes videos when she is doing sponsorships or when she has a makeup launch coming soon and she needs to promote it. She never comes on YouTube anymore just for the fun of it. And that's what a lot of people are angry and annoyed about. It's like they miss the old Jacqueline where she would just come on YouTube and paint her face, have fun doing makeup, and not constantly pushing products in our faces. There is nothing wrong with making money. When it comes to YouTube and the money, the fame, Everyone changes in such a negative way. And it's really sad to see what has happened in the YouTube community, in the YouTube world. Honestly, in my opinion, I don't feel like anyone starts a YouTube channel anymore just to have fun. Everyone does it for the money, for the fame, for the sponsorships, for the free products. No one is genuinely just having fun anymore. In the video, she tells us that she is going to be closing two of her brands and that she is tired of pushing products in your faces. But yet, in every video, even on TikTok and Instagram, she is still pushing products. Even in the next video that she created called My Current Beauty Favorites, it's all affiliate links where she is still pushing products in your face. So let's check out the clip and let's talk about it. I feel like my social media is just, it almost looks like one big brand deal. Cause I've got these three brands and in order to pay for the salaries and keep my warehouse open and everything that it takes to run a business here in Tampa, like I have to have launches all the time and I've got Jacqueline Cosmetics and I've got Ulta promos. And it's like, I feel like I'm just always pushing product in your face and I'm so sick of it. As you guys know, Jacqueline told us that she wants to stop being a money-hungry robot, only make videos when she is launching products or sponsorships or pushing products in our faces. But yet again, on Instagram and TikTok, she is still doing a sponsorship. Now, there's nothing wrong with making money, but at the same time, didn't she just tell us that she wants to stop? I feel like my social media is just, it almost looks like one big brand deal. I feel like I'm just always pushing product in your face and I'm so sick of it. Like it just doesn't ring a bell to me. And a lot of people are really, really fed up with it. So let's check out her sponsored video. 
<gasps> so I'm about to take off for the gym right now. And although I'm going to become a total sweaty mess, that does not mean that I can smell like a total sweaty mess. I believe that there's a fragrance for every single occasion, no matter what the occasion is. If it means you're traveling, if you're going on a road trip, if you're going to the gym, if you're taking your baby on a walk, this right here has become one of my favorite perfume brands ever. This is Clean Reserve. And the scent I'm using today is Skin. I discovered this scent probably like two years ago. And a little goes a long way. Oh my God, everywhere I go, people are always like, oh my gosh, what is that? It's not overpowering. It's not too much. It's florally. It's musky. It's so good. You're going to end up wanting to wear it every single day because it's so clean and it's such an easy wear. And like I said, a few spritzes go a long way. Okay, and now it's lunchtime. I'm going to switch up my fragrance. I'm now going to go in with Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. This is a completely different scent than the first one, which makes them both incredibly unique. Oh my god. This one kind of smells like fresh berries, peach, and nectar. Like, it's sweet, but it's still sexy. This is definitely like that day to night, very flirty, warmer, sexier vibe. And what makes Clean Reserve so special it is a farm to fragrance collection, which means it's crafted with sustainably sourced ingredients and eco-conscious packaging. Okay, we are all ready for lunch. People are really fed up with the manipulation and the lies that Jacqueline always does. If you go on Instagram and check her st comments, it's all just calling her out. People in the comments on that Instagram post are just over it. So this is what people have to say about her. Karma always wins. She always tries to manipulate everyone. She acts like she's the center of the universe. I'm sorry, but she said she was going to the gym. Why is she going to the gym with a full face of makeup? Another issue is that these content creators, whenever they are doing these sponsored videos or sponsored posts, they never use those products until companies reach out and want to promote their own brand and pay the YouTuber. Once a liar, always a liar. Now, it's going to take time to be able to trust someone who is constantly a liar, who wants you guys to be able to trust them again. But Jacqueline has done this over and over and over again. She is very, very dishonest. She's money hungry. She is power hungry. All she hangs out with is yes men, yes women, people who kiss her booty. Not just her, but a lot of people on the internet who have millions of subscribers because all of that money changes people in a very negative way. So when you do a sponsored video, a sponsored post, you clearly need to tell your audience in the first 30 seconds that I am being sponsored, I am being paid. How hard is it to say, Hey guys, I'm being sponsored by this company and I am promoting their perfume, their body spray, whatever. And then the rest of the video, you can be as creative and as fun as you want. But this just shows that she is a liar and she will never change. A lot of people actually like her, but she's so dishonest and doesn't care about anyone but herself. Even when you are doing affiliate links for Amazon or any other company, you have to tell your audience that you are getting paid, you are getting a commission, and you can't just write in your description box, 
I'm getting a small commission for. If you start a YouTube channel or start any social media, I would suggest you be real and transparent. Have fun and be honest. That's what people want from these influencers, these content creators online. And it's not just Jacqueline doing it. The problem with YouTube and social media is that the FTC came out with these rules and guidelines that say you have to, you must disclose that you are getting paid doing sponsorships, affiliate links, but yet, they will, the FTC will not crack down on these types of people. It, honestly, it's like one big joke. How can we take the FTC seriously if they keep letting these bigger YouTubers, these bigger content creators, keep getting away with this? While us smaller creators, when we do anything wrong, boom, we get in trouble. Boom, we get our channels deleted. And it's really, really messed up. And it's not fair. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below.